learning more about why a local nonprofit agency was raided by federal agents earlier this month. Safety Net of Oregon serves as a middleman for people who receive Social Security or other federal benefits. But investigators also believe they mishandled federal money. Tim Becker went to the agency today asking the tough questions. I understand you weren't exactly welcome, were you, Tim? Not exactly, Jeff. I was able to get my hands, though, on the federal search warrant. Here it is right here in this case. It lays out a number of inconsistencies in Safety Net's bookkeeping practices. I did pay a visit to Safety Net today, as Jeff said, and they were not happy to see our camera. I just want to know what you are doing to make sure that your clients don't... A sign in their cracked window says thanks for the memories. I found out last week and I was like, what? That's only three weeks to find a new payee. They pay your bills, they pay your rent, they make sure you're taken care of. Not anymore. The sign also directs clients to the Social Security office across town. I went there wondering what they're doing to help keep Safety Net's clients from losing out on their benefits and was told to call a phone number in Seattle. I did and they promised to email me more information. I don't think this is something that they usually deal with, so I think it may have kind of caught everybody by surprise. Everybody, as in more than 800 people. The search warrant I got today says that's how many Social Security beneficiaries are affected by Safety Net's pending closure. The warrant shows how in January, investigators sent a letter to Safety Net telling them that more than $600,000 appeared to be missing from their books. The CEO told investigators it was a software issue. But Safety Net's technical support employee told federal investigators no one ever complained to him about software problems. In short, the warrant says investigators' inquiries were met with explanations that did not make sense. And they believe wire fraud and theft of government funds was happening at the same place that Andre has relied on. Kind of agitating, but in the long run, I've been here about four years and time to move on. Well, Andre there tells me that he did just sign up with a new payee service yesterday. The deadline for people like him to change services and avoid having their benefits interrupted is Friday. We do plan to follow up and see how bad the fallout is from the safety net uh, business closing. Tim Becker, Coin 6 News.